we have such a nice house. That we do, and a great son, dog, and cat. Our housemaid and gardener are wonderful, as well, they are completely trustworthy. All is great in our life, but do you think we are safe? Of course we are safe, our house is insured from fire, flood, and theft. Our dog is licensed, and we are part of the neighborhood watch. That is true, but what of the people outside, are they a threat to us? They surely aren't, we have a sign that clearly states you have been warned. Yes, but what if they don't listen to our signs? They would have to open the gates, which are controlled electronically, and we would be informed. But there have been, so many riots lately I just don't feel safe. Then we will install burglar bars on every window, and door, and... Have an alarm system too. The view outside is a bit blocked, but I feel a bit safer, but what if the saw through the bars? The alarm has been triggered by the cat so much we don't know if it is real. We will be fine we must watch for our housemaid and gardener though. They mean no harm I will give them tea and cookies. You will only encourage other homeless to our home with those treats. You are right. Then we need to add a high wall. Yet to prevent people from jumping the fence into the garden. I hear the threat of burglary has gotten worse. I saw the cat jump the fence with no effort at all. Oh now I'm no longer safe here. We will up security once again we will add shards of glass on top of the walls. What if they have gloves on, then the shards won't affect them, we need to be more secure. Then we will add barbed wire. Then people will know not to even try to enter. The house will look like a prison, a concentration camp, but they will know not to enter. The house looks kind of dull, but at least we know we're safe. I'm going to go read our son a story, The Wise Old Witch. I mean your mother gave us. Okay, sounds great. I'll be in the living room if you need me. No. Our son. He has been eaten alive by the Dragon Teeth Security Company.